Hey, what's up everyone? It's Martin here and, and in this video I just wanted to quickly show some updates and informational sites on uh, the Iceland volcano. So I'm going to just pop up one of my favorite um, live streams that is broadcasting 24 hours. Today is the day 123, July 19th of the volcano activity in Iceland. Um, this channel here uh, I believe is streaming from ruv.is. Uh, they have some cameras set up near the volcano, and they just give you a live stream 24 hours, seven days a week. And if you're planning to go to Iceland or are currently in Iceland and just want to see the volcano while you're at the hotel or you know you're eating or you're you're planning to go to the volcano, this uh, stream is really good for that you could see what's going on before you get there and uh, you could just get a little glimpse of the weather as well the channel is broadcasting from uh, YouTube under the channel name AFAR TV um, but I believe the streaming is from RUV.IS this particular stream is really good because it shows a couple angles of the volcano uh, but it has a bar towards the bottom of the screen where it shows um, the day uh, the weather temperature it also shows wind conditions and directions seismic activity going on um, the lava flow from the eruption the love the lava covering the region um, as well as uh, CO2 levels and SO2 levels. Another great camera that I constantly watch, the camera from the MBL.IS. I believe they have a couple cameras set up throughout the volcano. And it's great to see this before you even head out. Another, another site uh, that I always check constantly is uh, VolcanoDiscovery.com. And at VolcanoDiscovery.com, they update a elevation map, which I'm going to open up here in Photoshop so I can zoom in a little bit. So here's the map currently of the region where the volcano is, and um, it shows in purple the lava coverage. So how much lava has covered the region so far. So as you can see, the bottom here left is the main road with the parking, so road 427 down here and then there's the four designated uh, parking spots in blue and what is cool about this map too is that it shows in yellow a dotted yellow line the paths the, the new paths to the volcano so I covered the volcano throughout the May and early June but that has drastically changed. In June, you were able to actually, so here's the volcano, you were actually able to come to this, look, looks like a little island, and this was the closest spot to the volcano. But now I think it's only accessible by helicopter. As you can see here, it also indicates where the cameras are positioned. So here's the MBL camera, one here, and then there's another one here close by. And I do remember this camera when I was hiking to the volcano. And that's uh, this camera here, the MBL.IS on YouTube. So you can find them there. I, I'm going to put all the links to the cameras and these sites in the description below. So you can just click and check them out. So uh, as you can see, there's a lot of la uh, lava that has covered the region. And I believe now, before when I was when I was going there constantly, the, the problem was that the lava here in this valley was reaching the road at a really quick pace but I believe now it kind of slowed down and now the lava is actually moving towards the northeast let me just go back to here we go so it's actually moving this way so towards this valley here and it's moving up that way which is good I guess if they're trying to slow it down uh, you know the, the road won't be blocked uh, as of yet but yeah check this map out it, it constantly updates with the lava progression and it gives you a glimpse of the routes, the hiking paths to the to see the volcano. As you can see, there's one here that goes towards the right side of the valley, um, and it reaches the one of the MBL cameras. And then you can head towards another path which goes to the left uh, region and gets a little bit closer. 
Um, I believe this it's a longer path. I haven't done these yet, but hopefully soon I will be able to get out there and do them. Another another great site for weather if you're planning on going and you want to plan ahead is this site here called en.vedur.is and there's a weather tab on the top and it's going to show you the entire island's weather forecast. There's a, a scroller down here where all the times indication so you can move them around and then you can see the weather change. So this is a great site for for just checking up on the weather they're up they're constantly uh, updating this so i've been using this a lot hope everyone has a great day and see you in the next video take care bye